Civic Week being elected as the Kelso Laddie. Now, thousands of people turn out to watch those ride outs, so Ian would have been known throughout the town. And to be elected as the laddie in a town like Kelso was a huge honour, and one that I'm assured Ian took extremely seriously and was immensely proud to be. Now, understandably, the news of Ian's death has shocked the small town of Kelso. Kind, friendly, and a true gent. Just a few words used to describe Ian Wellens after the news of his death at a farm near Kelso. This was Ian just two years ago, leading his town ridings and celebrations as the Kelso laddie. A job he is said to have taken on with pride and enthusiasm. It was just fantastic riding out this town this morning with so many people and everybody out supporting the whole, not just me, but the whole town. It was just fantastic. And riding down the Vention Hill and seeing everybody in the hawk was just brilliant. Words can't describe it. The details of Ian's death are yet to be confirmed, but tributes have been shared to him on social media, many saying how much he will be missed by the town. I felt he was extremely approachable, he was happy, had a lovely smiling face, liked by everybody and got on with everybody. And I felt that, that he, would, he would do a wonderful job as a laddie, which he did and he'll be missed by a great deal of people here in town. As well as representing his town as the 2016 laddie, Ian also played for Kelso Rugby Club, who said he was an extremely popular player and his teammates are devastated by the news. A relative of Ian's told us the family are in total shock, but Ian will always be remembered as a hard worker who was liked by everyone who knew him. Now, the town's provost, Dean Weatherston, was understandably too upset to talk to me on camera, but he did send me a statement which read, When he was elected Kelso Laddie, Ian was very shy, but over the last three years we have seen him evolve into the confident young man he was and always was from the start a gentleman. He was a credit to his parents and our town and we will miss him greatly. In time, we will be able to share stories about our friend Ian, who we knew as Splodge, and he provided us with many of them. But at the moment, for all of us who knew him, there is just a feeling of loss and injustice. He may be gone, but we will never forget him. Jennifer, accordingly, thank you very much.